This is Kajol Jadav and I am here to explain daily current affairs for UPSC Civil Services exam. The e-way bill system now being tried out by 10 states becomes mandatory from February 1st. What is the purpose of the e-way bill introduction? What is an e-way bill? What are the salient features of e-way bill? What is the current status at the state level over the e-way bill? Do any exemptions apply to e-way bills? This can be the most probable question for 2018 exam. One can see it under GS Paper 3, Indian Economy and Issues Relating to Planning, Development and Employment, Mobilization of Resources. In this video, you can find detailed answers for all the above questions. The above article has been retrieved from indianexpress.com, dated January 19, 2018. What we are providing here is just a 10% sample out of the full-length video. Visit our website iasvideos.com to join the course and to unlock all videos. We offer this pendrive course cash on delivery on amazon.in2. Amazon will deliver our course to your doorstep. What is the purpose of the e-way bill introduction? Since the implementation of the goods and service tax, the government is trying to ensure the removal of pain points for businesses. Efforts are also being put to keep the system foolproof from the point of view of revenue leakages. Around 15 lakh small firms have registered under the composition scheme so far out of which about 6 lakh filed their returns. Behind the curtains, the government decided to speed up work for the technological, thus framework required for an early introduction of electronic way, bill or e-way bill system. What is an e-way bill? E-way bill is like a token that can be generated online to regulate the movement of goods. E-way bill system offers the technological framework to track intrastate as well as interstate movements of goods of value exceeding Rs 50,000 for sales beyond 10 km in the new goods and services tax regime. Under the e-way bill system, there will be no need for a separate transit pass for every state. One e-way bill will be valid throughout the country for the movement of goods. What are the salient features of e-way bill? According to notified e-way bill rules, every registered supplier will require prior online registration on the e-way bill portal for the movement of these goods. The rules also specify that the permits would be valid for one day for movement of goods for 100 kilometers and in the same proportion for following days. Tax officials will have the power to scrutinize the e-way bill at any point during transit to check tax evasion. Any supplier, recipient, transporter can generate an e-way bill. Once this is generated, there will be no need to fill the requisite information in the GST return. What is the current status at the state level over the e-way bill? 10 states have started trial runs of the e-way bill system. Karnataka implemented the system in September 2017, followed by Rajasthan, Uttarakhand, and Kerala. Six more states, Haryana, Bihar, Maharashtra, Gujarat, Sikkim, and Jharkhand started trial runs for e-way bills on Tuesday. Do any exemptions apply to e-way bills? The GST Council exempted 154 items of common use such as meat, fish, curd, vegetables and some cereals, human blood, LPG for households and kerosene for the public distribution system. The system will not be applicable on goods being transported by non-motorized conveyance and where goods are transported from the port, airport, air cargo complex and land customs stations to an inland container, depot or a container freight station for customers' clearance. 